You've probably seen those drag and drop upload boxes pretty much everywhere, right? Unfortunately, Flutterflow doesn't support this feature yet. But today in this video, I'm going to show you the best and the easiest way to implement this feature with a custom widget in less than two minutes. So let's get started. As always, the first step is to create a new custom code. So head to custom code section and click on add and a new widget. Name the widget drag and drop and you can copy the code from the link in the description and paste it over here. Then click on save. This will automatically add undropped parameter. It will return the list of files being dragged into our app. Next step, we need to add a Flutter dependency. The name is Flutter Drop Zone. Flutter Drop Zone is a really powerful and well-known package. You can check it out over here. It has a lot more callbacks, but in this video, we are only going to use one. Now we can actually use this custom widget. We're going to implement it on create post page. So the first step is to wrap the area you want to enable drag and drop with a stack and wrap the stack with a container. Give the parent container a set height. Now we can add our drag and drop custom widget into the stack and give it infinite width and height. And we shouldn't put it on top of everything. It should be behind all the widgets. So it's the first child of the stack. Now we can actually start to use the undropped callback. On this page, we already have a page state called image bytes, which is used to show the selected image and also upload it when we create a post. So I'm going to reuse the same thing and open up undropped callback. Over here, we need a conditional that checks if there are any files being dropped into the drag and drop zone. So if the list is not empty, we wanna put the first child into the page state. Please let me know if you have any questions and if you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. There are actually a lot more customization that we can do over here. For example, in your app, you might wanna let the user upload the image immediately. That's pretty easy. Just add an upload action and set the media source as uploaded media and set the file to upload variable from the action parameter. If you wanna let the user upload multiple files at a time, you can add a loop and upload them one by one. Or you can join our Patreon community where you can learn about how you can upload multiple files and track the progress with one custom action in one of the early access videos. All right, after deploying the app, we can test it and see how awesome it looks. Thank you for watching the video to the end. See you in the next one.